In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called Calculating Standard Reaction-Free Energy from Standard Reduction Potential. This problem is asking us to calculate the delta G for a redox reaction, and it's not providing us with any information other than the, the chemical equation. To calculate delta G for a redox reaction, we're going to use the equation negative NF E cell standard. And in this equation, the E cell is the same E cell that we've been using. It is the cathode minus the anode, which is why I have these half reactions pulled up ready to go. F is a constant. It, its value, it's Faraday's constant, and its value is 96,500. The units are kind of weird on it. It's joules. That's really the most important one to remember. Um, joules per volt per mole of electrons. And then the N in this equation is the number of moles of electrons that are exchanged in the balanced redox reaction. So the first thing that we really need to do is calculate E cell. And while we're calculating E cell, we're also going to be able to see when we look at those um, half reactions, we'll be able to see what the value of N is. So I am going to, um, like when I'm looking at this equation, I'm going to pick something to focus on. And I think the thing that I'm going to pick to focus on is the bromine going to the bromide because that's kind of the easiest one for me to pick out. And I'm going to find that in this half reaction um, table. And it is right here. So I have this half reaction is written in the exact same way as I have in my overall reaction. So that means um, that the Br2 going to Br minus, like I'll kind of make a note of it down here, Br2 plus two electrons going to two Br minus. This is a reduction reaction because electrons are being gained, and that means that it is taking place at the cathode, which means that when I calculate E cell, I want the voltage for this reaction to come first, cathode minus anode. So I'm going to grab the voltage of this reaction. It is 1.066 volts. So now um, that I have this one found, I'm going to go find the other half reaction. This one involves some nitrogen. It could be alphabetized under the N's, maybe the O's, maybe the H's, probably the N's. That's where I'm going to look for it first. And remember that this half reaction, this one, is going to be the oxidation because this half reaction is our reduction. So what I'm actually looking for are these molecules right here as the reactants because this one is going to be written in reverse. Um, and it looks like it's right here. HNO2 plus H plus makes NO and H2O. So I'm going to copy this one down. I'm going to copy it uh, in reverse. So I'm going to copy it the way that we have it in our balanced equation. Two, not a two. Um, NO plus H2O makes HNO2. H plus and electrons. And again, this is our oxidation and this is taking place at the anode, which means that when we calculate E cell, cathode minus anode, this number comes second, 0.983 volts. So we have, now we have enough information to calculate E cell, 1.066 minus 0.983. Our E cell is 0 0.083 volts. And that is this portion of the delta G. Uh, F is a constant, so the only other thing we have to figure out is N, the number of electrons that are being exchanged, the number of moles of electrons that are being exchanged in the overall reaction. So it, what I did here was copy the half reactions from the table of half reactions. But if we imagine putting these two half reactions together, adding them together the way that we do, in order to be able to combine these two, we need to have the same number of electrons in each half reaction. And in order to do that, like what we're just trying to do is figure out how many electrons are being exchanged 
when these two equations are actually combined, we want to have, in this case, two electrons on each side in order for the equation to add together. Uh, I'm not going to go through the process of actually adding it. So that means that our number of moles of electrons, in this case, is 2. And again, that's because that's the number of electrons that it takes to balance these two half reactions with respect to each other. So now we have enough information to actually calculate delta G. I'm going to do that in this space down here. Delta G standard is going to be equal to negative N, which is 2 moles, times Faraday's constant, 96,500 joules per volt per mole, and then the value of E cell, which is 0 0.083 volts. Going to work the math out on this. Negative 2 times 96,500 times 0 0.083, and this gives me a negative 16019 Notice that the volts cancel, the moles cancel, and we're left with units of joules. Delta G is typically expressed in kilojoules, and if you look here in our answer box, Alex wants us to enter this into the box in the units of kilojoules. So to do that, we're just going to divide by 1,000, negative 16.019 kilojoules. And it looks like we want to give our answer to two significant figures, so that's going to be negative 16.